Hello, uh, Hot Choco is here and it's time again to slay the Spire. So la last time I kicked the ass of the um, Awakened One using the Silent, a, a very strong character. And during that run, we were able to uh, reach the Beating Heart uh, using the Silent and then unlock a third character which we're gonna be using now, which is this thing called the Defect. So I would assume Ironclad is a, a guy, uh, the Silent is a female, the Defect I think is an automaton, yeah, it's a robot, a combat automaton which became self-aware. Ancient technology allows the manipulation of orbs and then uh, it's a starting relic is a crack core at the start of each combat channel one lightning so we're gonna learn about what that does um, again, just like the other characters it has uh, five unlocks remaining it starts with 75 HP and then a 99 gold so let's do this let's embark okay so hopefully we, we get a lucky run just like what we did in with the uh, with the silent and here's a uh, meow again um greetings Reach the boss to receive more blessings. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP or max HP plus a seven. Again, let's check the map and maybe we can get a. So we have, pop pop. If if these two unknowns are not um are, are not a fight, or maybe we can do tak 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 uh. Enemy unknown 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 um and then we've got here a uh, a an elite. Okay, I think I can do that. Yeah, so we risk this um, four question marks. Hopefully, um, none of them are like um, uh, uh, fight rooms or encounter rooms so that we reach the elite with it uh, having a 1 HP. So let's take this. Okay, and let's uh, leave and start with uh, this guy. So this guy will have 1 HP. Let's see. So this is the defect. It has this thing. It has this uh, slots thing. It's called an orb slot. Orbs can be channeled into these slots. Okay. Lightning. Uh, so this is what is meant by the crack core. At the start of each combat, it channels uh, lightning. This is the one. At the end of each turn, deal 3 damage to a random enemy. Okay. At the end of your turn, this channel lightning will attack. Evoke. Deal 8 damage to a random enemy. So what does evoke mean? Does it maybe it consumes this? I don't know. But uh, so currently the, the enemy has 1 HP. Let's just uh, kill that right away. And then get our uh, free card. 11 gold and then our reward card. Uh, we have a steam barrier. Gain 6 block. Decrease the uh, This card is blocked by 1 this combat. Not good. Three, uh, draw 3 cards uh, with 1 inch energy or uh, deal 7 da damage channel while 1 lightning. I kind of want this, um, you know, a damage and then channel additional orb. So I believe if you channel like a three, you ca you will be damaging like nine to uh, to a random enemy uh, after your turn. So let's proceed. Uh, hopefully this is not an encounter. Okay, good. So uh, wing statue. So we've we've seen this before. We remove a card, lose seven HP. Um, let's just leave. Um, we don't want to remove uh, right now. We're, we're, we're still starting, so we have 11 in our, in our deck. So let's just leave. The statue makes you feel uneasy. You walk past and continue onward. Another question mark. Hopefully, it's not uh, it's not an encounter. It's not a battle. Okay, a random room. A shining light. Um, we lose 15 HP, but we upgrade two random cards. Uh, I can deal with that. So, uh, unfortunately, we, we upgrade, upgraded um, uh, low tier cards, but it's fine. As you walk through the light, you notice that the light is absorbed into you. It's scorching hot. Oh, psst, psst. it's scorching hot. However, the pain quickly uh, recedes. You feel invigorated as though you received a well deserved uh, slap. Okay, let's leave the shining light. Again, hopefully, this is not a fight. It's a shop. We have 110. Let's see what he has to offer. We can't buy any of the relics. Uh, we can remove a card, or um, we can buy. Uh, Okay, free, uh, deal 3 damage, uh, if the enemy intends to attack, we apply 1 week, uh, 9 block, recursion, gain 2 orb slots, I kind of have this, I kind of want this, for 1 for one uh, energy, you gain uh, 2 orb slots, that looks nice, we have panic button, gain 30 block, you cannot gain block from uh, cards for 2 turns, secret technique, pull a skill from your draw pad into your hand, uh, let's get the capacitor and get, let's get out of here. Okay, and the last question mark, hopefully, or even if this is an encounter, it's fine because we still have two left. So, for sure, it's guaranteed that the next elite enemy will have um, one HP, which is nice. It will give us a free rally. Okay, so it's a fight. Again, it's, that's fine with us. Um, evoke your next uh, orb twice. So, usually, I believe, so when you evo evoke, typically, it only deals 8 damage 1. This will make, 
invisibility so such that it deals damage twice. So you have eight to a random enemy, one will die, the other one will go to the remaining enemy. So this should kill them out, right? Okay. And then, yeah, we kind of lose it in our slot, so that's how it works. Add a card to your deck. Genetic Algorithm, it's a skill. Uh, gain one block from Link, Link, Link discards block uh, by two, but then you exhaust it. Okay. Compile Driver, uh, deal seven damage. Draw one card for each unique orb you have. We So far, we still have a Lightning. Gain three block, put a card from your discard into your hand. Uh, okay, let's take Genetic Algorithm. And then our Elite, which should be easy because this will have one HP. Thanks to the buff by Meow. Although it's defending, but doesn't matter because oh let's use this so that in the next combat it will its block will would have uh, would be increased by two already so let's use that okay and so we strike for nine we should be dead okay and then we get a high tier reward so we got 31 gold at least smooth stone start each combat with one dexterity that's good it increases uh the, the blocks given by our uh, black cards so we have a free fear potion apply favor vulnerable let's take that add a card to your deck um, Streamlight deals 15 damage, it will reduce this card's cost by 1, so next, you use this next, it becomes just uh, 1 energy white noise. Add a random power into your hand, it costs 0 this turn, that looks useful. Consume, gain 2 focus, lose 1 orb slot. Uh, focus is the effectiveness of your channel orbs, okay, okay. I kind of want this, so 2 looks like very high, I mean the, the cost, the energy cost looks very high for me, so let's do white noise and then let's proceed. So our first legit fight, let me just uh, scan them up right here, if there's like another um, elite on the way, there's none. All the elites, yeah, the elites are like at the same uh, level right here, so once you pass one, there's nothing else afterwards, but that's fine. So let's fight this guy. Okay, these guys that will curl up when you attack them, uh, gaining some blocks. Again, let's use our um, genetic... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's... Uh... Okay, let me do this. Let's strike this guy, and then it will gain its block. Let's uh, strike this guy, which will also gain its block, so that next turn their blocks are gone. Let's do genetic algorithm so that in the next combat this will increase. So before it, it, it only gave us one block, now it gives us uh, uh, four. So uh, it should only give us three because a uh, one, its initial value plus two, the effect of the card. But we have dexterity thanks to this um, oddly smooth stone, okay? So let's use that and let's end our turn. We'll be taking uh, 12 minus 4, 8 damage, that's fine. Okay, so they still had the block with the uh, with the lightning orb, so it didn't really go through their HP. But this time they won't have block anymore. Okay, and only one guy is attacking. So uh, let me see. Strike. Do if dual cast. Okay, let's dual cast. Bam, bam. Okay, and this guy should be dead. Okay, that's quick. So we get 15 gold, we get an attack potion, another card, stack, gain a uh, block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile, channel 1 dark, um, deals damage to all enemies. Uh, what is dark? Increases damage every turn. When evoked, deals damage to the enemy with the least HP. Okay, so this is like uh, it uh, it uh, gains uh, damage each time, but it, you won't be, it won't be dealing damage after your turn, just like the, unlike the lightning, but the moment you evoke it, it basically deals the damage to the enemy with the least HP of, of how much it was able to uh, accumulate, you know? So I believe uh, I want that. Okay, let's proceed. Um, campfire, so do we heal? I think not, we're at uh, 52. We should be fine, so let's upgrade. Uh, let me see, if we upgrade a capacitor, it will give us uh, 3 slots instead of 2. If we upgrade white noise, it costs uh, zero. That is that is awesome, actually. Let's cancel. How about genetic algorithm? It gains uh, three instead of uh, two blocks. Darkness. Trigger the passive ability of all dark orbs. Mm, but we only have one. So let me see. Let me think. Yeah, let's do white noise. So that you get a basically a power card for free the moment you draw this card. Because now it costs uh, zero. That should be useful. Let's proceed. So which path should we take? We can go uh, Fire Unknown. 
we can go chest, enemy, shop. Um, we don't we have little money anymore, so we can go. Um, enemy, unknown, enemy, uh, fire enemy. So that's three enemies, or we can go. Uh, two enemies and then two uh two rest sites. Um, yeah, I think I'm 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 uh, satisfied with my fifteen the fifteen decks that I have so far. So let's go here with a fewer um enemy encounters. So we get a chest. We get eighty one gold plus a relic, Mercury Hourglass. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Three damage. That's very nice. So we won't, we don't want to skip it. We we take it, okay? And let's proceed. Uh, go to a campfire. Upgrade another card, of course. This time we will be upgrading um, capacitor, so that it gives us three orb slots to work with, okay? Pl on top of the three that we already have initially. So let's do that, and then let's proceed. The uh, unknown. So the s -s -s serpent. We've seen this before. It gives us a gold, but then it gives us an unplayable card. Um, is there a shop nearby? No, we we've missed all the shops. So no, let's uh, let's not get his uh, curse card. The serpent stares at you with a look of extreme disappointment. Eh. Eh. Let's leave the serpent. So we can either go to the right, um, and then we have an option of going uh, another another campfire and then enemy fire, or we can go enemy enemy and then one campfire unknown right here um, I kind of want to go two more enemies so we have like two uh, two more additional guaranteed uh, cards to choose from so we have these uh, guys called the fungi beast so they get uh, three damage initially thanks to our uh, mercury our glass let's play our white noise ca card which gives us a free power card when you play a power card channel one lightning that's good okay but yeah we don't have any power cards so we can do um, this guy will attack um, strike um, strike, strike. This guy won't be attacking, he will be buffing next turn, so that's a fine move. Let's end our turn. He gets uh, 3 damage from our uh, channeled lightning. Okay, he is gaining strength, so now he'll be attacking for 13. It would be nice if we can kill him here. Um, if we evoke, we will be damaging for 16. This should kill him. Okay, that's dead, so we get a gold. A power potion and a another card. Hello world. At the start of your turn, add a random common card into your hand. Uh, deal six damage. Channel frost. A frost. Okay. The, the effect of the uh, frost orb it gives you block. So every after a turn, it gives you a block. It's not. It's a. It's a defense uh, orb. I kind of want uh, this. The hello world. Okay. Let's proceed. Another enemy. Okay. Um. Let me see, we'll be taking 19 damage, can we kill one of them, 9, uh, 6, uh, so that gives you 12, plus 9 is 21, we can't kill any of them, so I might as well go for a 12 defense, so that we'll only be taking uh, 7 damage out of the um, 19, and then, let me see, um, let's strike this guy. Uh, with a smaller HP, and then let's end our turn. Okay, we gain seven damage. Uh, this guy's giving us some uh, some useless cards. This guy will deal seven and then defend. Here's our capacitor card. Let me see. We can channel one lightner lightning. Do seven damage. No, no, this doesn't do that 7 damage. This is it is just a shot channels a lightning. Let me activate. Let's see. So I do want to defend here to um, to cancel this attack. Let's activate Hello World. We get a one random uh, common card at the start of our, our turn. And then let's. Um, in channel or attack this guy. Uh, okay, let's just channel. I should have. Okay, it's fine. Let's have done. Okay, so we take one damage from this, and then we'll be blocking. 
he will be this will be giving us a garbage oh no he's giving us a trail that should be cancelled by our um, uh, dexterity right okay so let's do genetic algorithm now 15 damage so th this guy is dead let's get a free power card creative AI at the start of your turn add a random power card to your hand that is very nice indeed this is the free colorless is this the free colorless card that we gained from our uh, um, hello world yeah I think this is the one so let me see if we do all cast and then we hit this both hits this guy that would be sad let's try it do all cast Ah yeah, that, that is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Um, Fifteen. Yeah, let's just attack this with the fifteen, and then hopefully he gets hit by the channel lightning. Although he'll still be alive because this only gives uh, deals uh, three damage. Can we do something else? Uh, we should have applied vulnerable and then choose a random attack card and it costs zero this turn. Let's let's drink that. Let's use um, deal six damage to all enemies. Okay, let's do this so that uh, yeah, so that the, 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 the combat will end. We get eleven gold. Add a card to your deck. The coercion evoke your next orb channel. The orb that was just evoked. Okay, we've seen this before. Compile driver deal seven damage. Draw one card. Which unique orb you have? Um, let's do recursion. Okay, and then unknown room. You come to the dead end and begin to us. Uh, so these are the different walls. We've seen this before. We can remove a card, transform a card, or upgrade a card. Let's upgrade a card. Um, I kind of wanna upgrade world innate. This will start at the beginning. If we upgrade genetic, yeah, we've seen that. Kind of upgrade. Yeah, let's do innate for our uh, hello world. Let's confirm that. Let's leave. And then fire. I kind of want to rest here. Okay, so that will be at like 66 when we uh, encounter the boss. Let's uh, proceed and then battle this thing. Okay. So this guy, okay, will do negative effect. It will split. So the moment its HP will reach uh, uh, below 50 uh, percent or is at 50 percent, it will split into two smaller slimes with the slime bosses current HP. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. So let's do hello world. Let's take this opportunity to do that while still not attacking. Ball of lightning, damage plus a channel. And then let's activate our genetic algorithm so that the next combat will even be higher. Maybe we can have something here. A random power card, let's use that. It will cost zero, so whenever you play a power card, draw one card, gain two orb slots, or at the start of your turn, add a random power card in your hand. So let's do that creative AI. It costs zero this turn due to the effect of the drink. Next turn, we get uh, power cards for free. Okay, let's end our turn. Okay, so it will give us ah three useless cards. Oh, that, that's uh, that's annoying. So now it's intent is unknown. So um, we can channel a frost. We can whenever you see one black attack damage, channel one lightning. Mm, let's do this and the random power card you had. It costs zero disturb. Let's do that. Static discharge equivalent to this one. So we just activate this and ignore this. Okay. Deal 6 damage and then channel 1 cross. Okay, let's do that. And then let me do strike, strike. We gain uh, 2 blocks from this cross and then it will it will uh, it will channel a uh, lightning for 3 damage times 2, so 6 on that one. Okay, so he's still he's not attacking. I think he's still charging for a huge attack now. Slime crush. Next turn, it will attack for 35. That is painful. Loop. At the start of your turn, trigger the passive ability of your next orb. So it will, uh, at the end of our turn, it will activate our light at lightning, the first one there. 
you attack 435 let's do something about that we can't do anything about that so let's just apply vulnerable to this guy um evoke your next herb and channel the herbs okay let's let's do that Okay, so what it happens is you it evoke the lightning and then it uh, it channeled another one, so the ordering move. Okay, and channel one cross. Loop. So I'm thinking, uh, let's just attack first. So this, this is interesting. The the 35 attack, the damage that he's planning to deal won't be dealt uh, to us because he's already at 73, right? So the moment our our uh, lightning procs on him so the moment he hits tish, tish, uh, uh, three lightning of uh, total of six uh, his hp will fall below 50 percent so now he will be splitting instead of attacking that's interesting so now we can forget about attacking and concentrate with uh, activating some additional power maybe this one add uh, three orb slots or the loop let's do loop okay let's end it so now, yeah, so see, it, it was interrupted. His attack was interrupted, so now he's splitting. Although now the problem is we have two enemies with uh, 67 HP each, and both of them still has that uh, split effect. So at uh, around 33, no, 34, because it's rounding down, they will split. And then both of us are planning to give gar garbage card next turn. So what we do is, um, let's activate uh, capacitor so that it gives us uh, three additional slots um let's channel let's see. okay let's do recursion okay let's channel one dark and that's done so they next turn they will just be giving us a garbage card so this, this is the dark the dark orb right here so the moment this is evoked, so the moment this, this dark orb goes to the first one right here and then you evoke it, it deals a 12. But that 12 grows every time, you know? Like, uh, next turn, if you don't use it, it, it grows by 6. So that should be painful. So now we're beginning to get the slime uh, garbage card. So let me see, here's our 3 power card. We have Streamline. This guy's attacking, so let's focus on him. He's 47. Our hope is... He will reach um, uh, 30, 34, yeah. So let's do this. Let's channel a lightning. Let's uh, streamline him for 11. Yeah, this should this should split. This should interrupt. Yeah, okay. And then let's end our turn. Okay, that's nice. So this is interrupted. It will divide into two slimes, both with 28 HP. I think we should concentrate on these two guys first, but this will be attacking for 16, so we should be interrupting that as well. So let me see. Um, let me see. Okay. So the thing is, this is this this is this is random. The target of the lightning. So we would like every lightning to hit this guy but we that's not in our control so we will be taking um 23 damage but we only have uh, two defense so we'll be we'll be taking 21 damage basically so let's just concentrate on attacking even though yeah we're weakened right now because of their uh, debuff okay let's channel a cross card Ah, that's 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 unfortunate. It, it drew one card, but then it drew gar garbage basically. Um, let's do one more. Deal for damage, tunnel one. Let's draw one card. Uh, let's try this. It drew a strike. Okay, let's just strike as well. Yeah, we can't really do anything about that uh, 23 damage coming our way, but now our block is 2, and then this uh, 2 additional uh, frost will give us plus 4 blocks, which will block uh, 11 damage. We'll be taking a 12 instead. Let's end our turn. Okay. What 
happened? What happened there? Okay, this is almost this is almost ready to be evoked. Let's dual cast this. Let's dual cast this thing. It will evoke it twice, so two enemies are dead for sure. What the moment we use dual cast, let's do that. Boom, boom. Okay, it, it's unfortunate. It's not this scary. You kidding me? It would have been nice if yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, that's fine. Um, let me see. Let's uh, strike him. Okay, let's strike him. And then channel one more of uh, boss card. Okay, he's not attacking anyway. He'll be splitting, so we'll be we'll end up with the two smaller slimes with 25 HP. Uh, I should have used this big card. But anyway, it's just a block and it's not attacking anyway. So now it's 16 thanks to our um, lightning uh, orbs. Okay, this will be attacking for eight. So let's let's uh, focus on this guy. Um, let's do uh, let's have an attacking card. Storm static discharge. Okay, let's do ball of ball of lightning. Okay, that guy is dead because of the channel, the uh, lightning right there when, when, when everything moves. So we were lucky that it didn't hit this guy instead. Um, whenever we play a power card channel, one lightning. So let's do this first. So let's activate this power card. And then let's activate this power card so that we channel uh, a lightning. Okay, and then let's have our turn. We will give us some more garbage card, but shouldn't matter. He's only at 1 HP left. Yeah, so I like how... You know, like the, the, the Ironclad is more attack based, um, the Silent is more poison based. This guy is an entirely, you know, very different uh, character on its own. So I'm excited to see like what the four character, what's the gimmick of the four character looks like. So we get 100 to gold, we get a gold tier card, a, a rare card. So prevent the next time you would lose HP. Amplify this turn, your next power card is played twice. That looks useful. At the start of your turn, add a random power card to your hand. I kind of want to amplify. Okay, let's proceed. And let's see what relic the, this boss gives us. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer see enemy instant. We don't want that. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer gain gold. Uh, we don't want that. MTK Japan pick up. Remove two cards from your deck. Okay, let's do that. So let's remove... Um, let me see. So we have here a block card, a high tier block card. So let's remove one defense. Do we have a high tier damage card? Yeah, we have a damage that channels lightning as well. So we can remove a uh, weaker strike. Okay, let's proceed. So now our deck is at 16, which should be, which should be nice. Okay. So we're now at the city. This looks to me like a long stage. Okay, and you know, my, my hot choco is kind of running out. So. I believe um, uh, we should stop right here, okay? And then um, next turn in uh, in the next uh, episode, Slay the Spire Six, we continue the adventures of the uh, of the defects. So I wanna like kind of cut it because I, I want you know maybe we're lucky if we cut the episodes into different parts, just like what happened to the silent. We cut it into different parts. We won, okay? So we'll see how 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 far the defect goes. But anyway, let's um, save and quit right here, okay? And then your progress will automatically save. Okay, that's good. And then I'll see you next time on uh, Slay the Spire 6. Thanks for watching and bye-bye. Uh,